So, good morning, uh, Dr. Felix von Kuba um, from Hitachi. Uh, we're here at EMC uh, in Lyon. Could you tell us about Hitachi's uh, newest TEM? Sure. So, we will bring onto the market in next year's April, so April 2017, a new STEM TEM. It's going to be a STEM corrected machine. Um, the basic idea is to have a very easy user interface so that it's accessible for multiple users. So if you have a facility where not only specialists work, but also new students, maybe, I don't know, you have 10 PhD students and they all want to work on it. They work on it maybe every three weeks. It's a, it's a tool that is so easy that you don't have to be an expert on TEM to use. It comes with a probe corrector and uh, it's an in-house Hitachi corrector. And the big advantage is that it has an automated function. So you basically click on a button which says start and then it's doing the correction on its own. Again, very easy if you have lots of users. They just need to do the start button. No lengthy alignment procedure, no big knowledge about CS correction. Works very, very conveniently and reliable. Is the system compatible with any of the in situ technologies we've been hearing so much about? In situ is, of course, a, a big topic right now, and of course, you can have closed holders, so with the membranes, but we also offer the solution of open systems, so where you have your sample and a gas nozzle coming either from the column or from the holder, so you can have more than one or two gas nozzles, you can have up to three gas nozzles doing all sorts of in situ experiments. This is all accessible. It automatically also comes with a SE detector, so if you do your in situ experiments, you have maybe some carbon and some platinum or whatever material you like, and sometimes you see that one or the other material comes to the surface or digs into the material. So with the SE detector, you can see if it's really a surface science problem or if it's a mm, in-depth uh, material problem. So uh, this is very convenient. The SE detector is a true SE detector. It has atomic resolution. So even if you want to go really deep into science, this is very helpful. Well, that sounds brilliant, and uh, m and wishes to touch you all the best of luck with this. Thank you.